guys, good morning. Um, it's Monday morning and I'm just now starting the vlog for today. I was so sick yesterday and I didn't get any sleep because of it. So I just kind of had the laziest morning ever. And then Zach, um, sorry, hold on. I should probably set up the camera before I start filming, but you know. I always want to do it the hard way. Alright, anyways, then Zach brought me some Chick-fil-A. So, I ate that and it's now like 12 o'clock and I'm just picking up the camera for the day. I have so much um, cleaning to do from being sick over the weekend that I just didn't clean a lot yesterday. So, I have to do that before I can dive into this book some more. But I am 330 pages into Saving Six. I have this much more to go. Which is a pretty fat chunk to still have to read. So I'm really enjoying it. It's really sweet. I love the Boys Atonement series. I will never stop talking about it. It's so incredibly good. So I'm hoping to finish this this week and then move on to a library book because a lot of them do have to get returned this week. And I have two on my March TBR that I was supposed to read. For March, so I think I'm gonna do either the Prison Healer or a love song for Ricky Wilde in this vlog as well, or maybe both if you know I have a good reading week. But yeah, I have a lot of library books. I can renew most of them, but these two I've renewed already, so I need to read them. Plus, they were on my March TBR that I picked out. So that's kind of the plan for this reading vlog to finish this, start one of these, if not both of them, and yeah, I'm like out of breath. I just do not feel good in the slightest today. I have so much to do. I also have to film a unboxing packages. I've been holding on to my book packages for a while now because I was trying to get like enough of them to film a video kind of like unboxing um, my packages. So I have like 10 now, I think. And I think that's a good amount for a little video to film. I thought it would be fun to kind of just show you guys the books that I buy. And I don't know. I thrift a lot of them off Pango. So um, I also thought it could be like a little bit inspiring to, you know, thrift your books. I don't know what I'm talking about. I thought I would do that. My Wi-Fi is also not working right now. It hasn't been working for a couple hours now. Um, our company is, our Wi-Fi company is saying that there's an outage in our area. So that's not good because Zach has a Zoom meeting with his school and I need to upload, edit and upload a video tonight. So hopefully that gets resolved soon, but there's nothing I can really do about it right now. And that's about it, you guys. I just wanted to start the vlog for today because I haven't. I've just been mega lazy, but also just extremely tired because I just not did not feel good last night. And I had, like, to take care of the kids by myself because Zach was doing an exam for school. So, um, it was just me by my lonesome. So, yeah. I am going to relax till Zach gets home and then I'll probably film that video that unboxing video and then i've got to clean my kitchen Blah. i am just not feeling it today but we're gonna do the dang thing because that's what we're gonna do that's just what we have to do that's life anyway i'll see you guys later when i'm not being depressing <laughs> what are you guys i just edited my video that's supposed to go up today and my computer is like slap out of storage so i'm struggling to find a way to upload that right now um it's a whole it's a whole thing anyways um so yeah i mean coffee i'm drinking it right now i'm trying to wake up but i have a massive headache so it's not going well i read um i got to about 400 pages in redeeming sex and I'm about to read some more of that here in a minute. I just put some... I had chocolate croissants from Trader Joe's yesterday. But today I'm trying the almond ones. Um, my family really loved the chocolate ones. Like, they ate them up. And so I was like, let's try the almond. 
croissants today since those were so good yesterday so those are in the oven right now I'm just waiting for them to, to finish um yeah I was trying to get my video up but I'm struggling so bad and I have too bad of a headache right now to do anything about it so what I'm gonna do is take some ibuprofen make my breakfast um read until my headache goes away and then I'm going to start cleaning in the house and um try to upload that video I have people coming over on Friday people my family's coming over on Friday my mom and my sister were going to a candlelight concert I begged them to go to one of these things with me because I just I keep seeing them advertised everywhere and the tickets were $40, which I didn't think was too bad. And it's a tribute to Coldplay, which is really cool because I love Coldplay songs. I think they're so perfect for a string quartet. Um, so I think that's going to be really fun to go to. Um, but they're staying the night on Friday, so I need to clean my house, like, really well. Um, and, like, get some blankets washed and just, like, all the things you have to do when people come over. So... I'll be doing that today, so I need to get this headache to go away. Um, but yeah, I think that's all that's on the agenda today. I just thought I would say good morning and start this vlog, this vloggy vlog. Um, I'm really hoping... Sorry, guys, I keep yawning. I'm really hoping to finish this very soon. I'm only on four, 400, so I have, like a lot to go but I want to get to 500 at least by like tonight but I'm hoping to just sit down and knock a chunk of it out I'm really enjoying it it's just so long like I think because the other one was so long too that I'm just starting to be like okay like this is getting long but it's it's really good and I don't know how to explain how I'm feeling but anyways I will update you guys once this croissants are ready. I'm gonna try them because the chocolate ones were so bomb. it is Wednesday I just made a little brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso so good I was trying other espresso grounds um, that weren't Starbucks and the brown sugar oat milks just didn't come out the same but I finished my other bag and I purchased the Starbucks grounds and now it's back to tasting normal. I'm shutting these doors to the laundry room. Hi, kitty. Anyways, I woke up at 4 o'clock this morning because Zach woke me up, my husband, because um, he was looking for his hat. 
and I guess it just woke me up or something woke me up I don't really know but I woke up this morning and I finished Redeeming Six by Chloe Walsh so good it is such a long book honestly I feel like it could have been shorter but I have like zero complaints besides the fact that it could have possibly been shorter but even with it being as long as it was I still loved it so much I love that family more than words can explain so genuinely I don't have much to be complaining about I gave it five stars I thought the story ended so beautifully and the epilogue with Johnny and Shannon killed me I was just like oh so cute I missed him so much and so I'm so happy that Chloe Walsh decided to add an epilogue with them to in the end okay okay let's go sit down she is so angry this morning let me turn on some cartoons for this girl. Hey baby, my disco ball is glowing all over the... Let's see what we can watch this morning. So the weather has been so crazy in Florida. It's like 70s in the afternoon, but in the mornings it's like 40s. And so I have to have the heat on because I, I live in an old house. And it's not as like insulated as newer houses would be, so... It gets extremely cold or extremely hot. Anyways, so it gets extremely cold or extremely hot. So I have a heater on right now, which is so crazy. I keep having to turn it on. Um, it's, um, so yeah, besides all that, I finished Redeeming Six. I gave it five stars. And I think I'm going to pick up a love song for Ricky Wilde. Even though I'm trying to read off my physical DBR, this does have to get returned to the library very soon. So this is Tia Williams' new release. It came out in February. She is the author of Seven Days in June, which is, oh my god, that is such a good book. I love that book. Um, it's about a couple, oh, I can't even get into it. You guys have to read it. It's like the most beautiful love story I've ever read. But I'm not exactly sure what this book is about, but I'm just going to hop into it blind because that's usually what I do over here. And I'm hoping to get this read within like the next two days because like I said, I just have to go back to the library. And yeah, I also need to finish my other library book, which anyways, I thought I would just tell you guys that I finished. I also have to do some editing today um, so I can get the weekly vlog up because I uploaded a... <clears throat> unboxing video on Tuesday instead of like my weekly vlog so I'm gonna do that get some reading in first and then I'll edit later but yeah you guys I got new glasses and I don't know how I feel about them because I'm scared that I look like a redheaded Harry Potter but everybody's telling me that I look okay that I look fine so I'm gonna trust and believe in them because I think these glasses are, like, cute when they're not on me. But do they make me look like a reader? Like, I study literature for a living? Because that's what I basically do. Sorry, I just don't get paid to study literature. That's what I do. If anybody ever asked me a job, I'd say, I study literature. Yeah. Anyway, um... I haven't started my book at all. I haven't done really much of anything today. But I'm, oh, I never told you guys. I did listen to A Chocolate Chip Cookie Murder by Joanna Fluke. This is her first book in her cozy mystery, like, series that she wrote in, like, the 2000s. Um, and I think there's, like, 20-something books, maybe more. But this is the first one. I borrowed it from my library on Libby, and I'm, like, almost done with it. So I think I'm going to listen to that and finish it today. Because I recently just got three holds. Zach, when did you do this? A long time ago? What the heck? I never noticed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the glue is like outside of the thing. Yeah. My daughter's digging in the trash. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I recently just got like seven holds in on Libby. Even though <clears throat> I checked them all yesterday and they all said that I still had like a two week wait. I got all of them in today, so I have to finish this one 
today and then I think I'm gonna start Daisy Hates from the the second and the Magnolia Park series because that one has a huge line so I need to finish that and then I also need to start a love song for Ricky Wilde which I haven't started yet she <sighs> anyways I'm going to probably finish my audiobook <laughs> This lavender oat milk latte from Starbucks. And I'm not gonna lie. First impressions. Well, yes, but I'm not gonna lie. Okay, ready? Mama. We're gonna try this. Yeah. Buckle it in, Gabriel. What? Buckle it back in. Do you wanna try it? No. Before I make a statement. It is giving perfume, just a bit. I feel like I just drank body wash. It's not undrinkable. I also added vanilla in it. Like I can definitely drink this, but would I order it again? No, because it is giving body wash. Just a tiny, just a tiny bit. And that was the lavender oat milk latte. I need to take a picture. Good morning, you guys. It is Thursday morning, and I didn't film anything after I went to Starbucks last night. Um, I got home and I was cooking dinner, and then I read some of. Let me grab it. I read a love song for Ricky Wilde and I went to bed a very uneventful night but I am in love with this so far. I hope it only gets better but basically we're following Ricky Wilde and she's in the process of opening and running her new flower shop in a brownstone in Harlem and um, I am already loving Ricky. I'm connecting with her so well I like just can see myself in her and I'm only 50 pages in and I'm like oh my god this girl would be my best friend like I can just see myself in her and then we're also last night where it ended I got to a part where we were following Breeze is what they call him and basically he this is it goes back into the 1920s in Harlem and it's following Breeze who moved from who moved from South Carolina to Harlem to like escape um I think slavery and he, basically in that area of Harlem that they live in it's basically like ran and owned by only black people and, and that's just different for him because he comes from South Carolina where black people are basically slaved so um yeah it it that chapter ended a part where he was playing the piano in a speakeasy and he like just played amazing and um he has like this giant passion for playing piano so I'm very interested to see how this story is gonna go I have no idea I'm going into this like completely blind I feel like I'm a little bit blurry anyways I'm going into this completely blind but so far you guys I'm loving it it's so good but anyways my camera's about to die so I will be um picking it up later but um, I just wanted to tell you guys good morning and I'm sorry that I didn't vlog last night. I just didn't have much to vlog. But anyways, I'm going to go put you guys on the charger and I'll update you in a bit. Guys, I have some packages. I thought I would open them with you. My daughter. My daughter really is obsessed with my daughter is screaming. I thought I got a fairy loot package in the mail. I was like, when did I sign up for fairy loot? But... Thus, it's a regular Pango package. Just kidding. Very much exciting still. Hi, girl. See if I can get this open. What's that? 
yeah. Happy reading? Jeez. Yeah. She even gave me her little fairy loo bag, I think. The pingo person. Dun, 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 dun. I'm so excited for this, actually. So, I've been wanting this book really bad, and I saw it on Pingo for $8, and it was the Waterstone exclusive, exclusive edition of You're Not Supposed to Die Tonight. This is like a YA horror, but look at the sprayed edges. It's like blood splatter. I thought that was so cool. It's just a short little YA horror book, so... I really wanted it and I think I only paid like eight bucks for it. So got that. And I have one more little package here from Pango. Alright. This one I know is just a bunch of random thrillers that I ordered from this one girl that are on like my backlist. My best friend Lakin told me um, Whoa, you're back in? I'm filming. Okay. My best ah! I just bent that. Why am I having such a hard time opening this package? Anyways, what I'm saying is my best friend Lakin told me that Then She Was Gone by Lisa Jewell is really, really good. So I saw this in a bundle with two other thrillers for $10. So I got it. I got everything we didn't say. Can I have some money? And The Lying Game by Ruth Ware. And then Then She Was Gone. So I thought that was kind of a good deal. Um, for just like three Here, little... Money. Thrillers to add to my collection. So that was my little packages. Anyways, we just got done going on the trampoline. I was reading a little bit of a love song for Ricky Wilde on there. Um, I'm loving it. It's so good so far. I just think it's so funny. And I'm connecting with Ricky, one of the main characters, really, really well. So that's that. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to do for dinner because we kind of have like a lot of cleaning to do tonight because I have family coming, uh, sure, yeah, I have family coming over tomorrow because tomorrow my mom and my sister and me are going to a candlelight concert, um, so they're coming over and I have to get my house nice and clean, so that's kind of the problem.
guys, I haven't picked up my camera in literally a day. Like, I didn't pick it up all day yesterday because I had company, so I was, like, not going to vlog in front of... Should I bring this thermometer? Yeah. I was not going to vlog in front of them, but... Today is Saturday now. Yesterday I went to a little candlelight concert with my mom and my sister and it was so fun. I should have inserted some clips that I got. Um, you weren't allowed to film like the whole time except at the very last song. So I just got a couple clips. But now we are going to go meet our friends for lunch and Gabriel does not feel good today. So I feel good now. You do? Yeah. We were supposed to like go thrifting too. But that was a plan that we could have because Because you don't feel good. But I'm going to make sure I'm taking his temperature and like making sure it's not high or anything like that. And then we'll like go. Yeah. Yeah. And then we'll go from there. Um, Louie, okay. Yeah. Yeah. But anyways, I made us coffee for the road trip. Yeah. Zach. Yeah. I'm sure your coffee. Yeah. 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 Can you help him? Yeah. Yeah. You got the wrong yeah. foot, that's fine. Yeah. Are you wanting that yeah. juice? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I did not read much yesterday at all. I don't even remember what I updated you guys about reading, but I finished a chocolate chip cookie murder, my audiobook. I gave it four stars. It was very good. We follow like this girl named Hannah Swanson and basically she's like an owner of a cookie shop bakery and she kind of just like helps go around town and solve little murders with like a police who is her brother's husband or her sister's husband and it's just super cozy and it was a good listen and I'll probably pick up the second one um, and then I ended up starting Daisy Hates the second I'll pull out the this is Daisy Hates. This is the second in the Magnolia Park series. And I started it on audiobook because my hold came in from the library. So I had 21 days and I was like, not planning on reading this, but I was like, I actually have to because it's very popular. I was like waiting for it for over three months for it to come in. So I have to finish that. So I started that and I'm also reading a love song for Ricky Wilde, which I haven't picked up because, um... I was busy all day yesterday, so I'll probably read it today. Um, I'll probably bring it with us on our little road trip and read some today, maybe. But yeah, hopefully I'll film. Maybe Zach can try to remind me to film, like at dinner and stuff. Okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. kind of quiet because my husband is asleep but I wanted to show you guys what I got from Goodwill after we went to lunch today we ended up going to the thrift store really quick so I thought I would show you guys so let me set you up Can I, set this right here? I ended up finding Commonwealth from Ann Patchett and I just I don't know it's one of those books that have been on my TBR for a while, so I decided to get it. And then I found Addie this cute little dress. So some buttons on the back. What do you say? Go. 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 I also found her these cute little pants. I figured they could just go with like a little tank top. And then I found myself this, oh, like, yes. what do you call these, like, kimono type things that just go over shirts. I just thought it would be, like, cute to wear. It would even be cute with a shirt. So I got that. 
And then, this was such a find. I found this jean vest. How cute. I thought this would be really good with like dresses. Just like a little jean vest for over dresses. It looks crazy with this shirt, but could be cute. And then lastly, I found the cutest dress. And I thought this would go so well with the jean, the jean vest. Okay, one more bag. Kids books. <laughs> oh, this, I thought this dress was so cute. It's like more of a fall dress, but it's like one of my favorite colors and it has this cute little design on the top and then it's got like half sleeves and it's like really so cute i loved it and then last find i got this just like flowy green tank top to go with like the little thing that i got like kimono thing so that was my thrift haul very good thrifting day and I didn't find many books but that's okay because I am trying not to buy as many books right now like if I come across one that I'm like interested in I'm gonna get it but I'm trying to be very mindful of what I what I'm getting from the thrift store anyways I'm gonna heat up some leftovers because I'm hungry and then we'll have to do like a book update because I haven't talked about any of my books this, that much. So yeah. Look rough, but it's Sunday morning. I just went to Starbucks to get a coffee, a little brown sugar shaken espresso. And now I'm gonna sit down, drink my coffee, and get some energy because I'm like so freaking tired. I just feel like I was go, go, go this weekend. I barely filmed any of it, of course. Are we really that surprised? But, anyways, I'll probably read a little bit more of a love song for Ricky Wild, which, by the way, yeah. I'm loving so freaking much. It is so incredibly good. Two Williams can do no wrong. She's gonna be like a top author for me. But this book right here, so funny, so good, so sweet, so far, and I'm only like 130 pages in. I'm really hoping to finish it today, but I highly doubt it. Just because I am, I do have a lot to do around the house, so I'm trying to be realistic. But anyway, I just thought I would say good morning. Um, yeah, that's about it for now. I'll up to you guys in a bit.